Hey y'all, it's Laura and I am back with an art journal page. This is a beginner art journal page. I do art journaling as a hobby on the side. It's not my main hobby, but it is one that I enjoy. And every once in a while, I decide to share with you guys a technique or a product that I want to show you how to use. And I try to keep the page super, super simple so that literally anybody can do it. My daughter, who is 13 years old, can do it, so anybody can do it. And that's the idea with this page, is I'm showing you how to use some quilting stencils to create some stars on the background, and I'm bringing in a new product that I just got in from a cherry on top crafts, Vicki Booten's Pigment Powder Paints. And so I was really, really excited to get and play with these. It's something I have not tried before, but I, I got the impression they're pretty similar from what I'm playing with them. Uh, they're pretty similar to say gelatos or any kind of a pigment. It's just in a powder. And it was a lot of fun to play with. I used it as watercolor, though I've seen it most often used mixed with with either texture paste or modeling paste or any of those mixed media items that Vicki creates. I know she mixes them in with that quite often, but I wanted to show you how to do it for a very simple watercoloring technique, and that's creating a watercolor ombre. Now, interestingly enough with these, these are very, very pigmented, heavily pigmented paints. And so keep that in mind. <laughs> I had to use a lot more water than I was expecting to to water these down. They are very, very strong. So you see that yellow is quite strong and I do have to come back with some additional water to blend that in with the orange. But this is pretty much what I wanted to show you how to do. I think it's important to step out of your comfort zone once in a while and watercoloring is a really, really easy way to get started with mixed media. It's a nice, gentle way to ease into the process and into the ideas that you may see around for using mixed media because a lot of them can be replicated without using a bunch of different fancy types of products, just a type of watercolor, whatever type of watercolor you're comfortable with. So using these stenciled out stars and I'm going to fill them in with watercolor, blending in color to color, and then we're going to outline them in black. And it's going to have a really fun pop effect once I add that black outline, because right now they look like watercolor star-ish shapes. <laughs> and yes, it is very, very simple technique, but I think it's important to start somewhere, to not be overwhelmed by the technique or the products that are being shown, and to see something and go, I could do that. I, I think I could do that. I think that's far more inspiring than seeing a technique that you go, oh, that looks great, but I could never do that. That's way past my level. I feel like that all the time. All of the time, so you are not alone in that. I will see someone who has a lot of talent with mixed media, who's just really, really good at it, and I think, oh, I don't think I could do all of that. <laughs> I mean, I could, but it wouldn't look as nice as what my brain is saying. And something like this, it really is something you can do. And it might inspire you to try something else in a mixed media journal. Now, this is just a small Canson mixed media journal. It's very inexpensive. It's very small. And I find it much easier to work small when I'm trying out something new, whether it's a new type of mixed media like this pigment powder paint or a technique. I think it's easier to try it small and see if you like it before you try to do it in a big way, say on a scrapbooking background or in a big mixed media journal. So this is kind of my experiment mixed media journal. <laughs> I'm getting near the end of it though. So I will do a flip through for you guys when we hit that point, but it's probably a little ways off because I don't mix media journal every single day like I scrapbook every single day, but I do like to play with paints. I like to get messy occasionally, especially in a, in a small format like this where I can just get out some paints, get out some mixed media and just play and try something out. Or if I've seen someone do something, I'm like, oh, that looks kind of cool. I want to try. And that's what this journal is for. I do have a playlist of some other ideas for beginner 
art journaling. And uh, I will link that for you in the comments below so you can find those if you'd like to try them out. Again, these are super beginner, super simple, super easy. Anybody can do them. I promise you, you can do them. <laughs> and often they're just showing you a technique or a product that is new on the market and that I really wanted to try out. And so I'm going with a super simple design so that I can test the product out. And so I think that's a great opportunity for me to share with you guys a very, very simple way to jump into mixed media if you're curious. So now that everything is all completely dried, I'm gonna use this Statler Permanent Luminum Pen. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And I'm gonna do just a really sketchy outline of these stars, not trying to be perfect. I'm totally okay with it being messy. I'm pretty much just covering up the pencil lines that are still showing through just a little bit through the water coloring and then adding some little sketchy marks where I make a mistake. <laughs> That's the best way to cover up a mistake when you're sketching. Little sketchy lines, they cover up many a mistake and they look intentional. So. It works. And if I didn't make a mistake, then I just added some randomly because I like the way that they look. But this is a nice way to make it kind of pop off the page, give it a little bit of definition and shadowing around the outside of the shape. And uh, then I'll come in with some little fun bits to finish off the page. Again, when you see the finished product, it does look kind of cool. It's kind of cute. And I really enjoyed making this. It was super quick, super fun. I definitely think that I will be doing uh, another one of these maybe next, next month. I don't do them very often. I think it's been about six months, I think so, since the last one that I've posted, uh, just because I just do them for fun. And when I find I'm doing one that I know is gonna be really, really basic, really, really beginner, then I go ahead and share it with you guys because you don't follow me for mixed media guidance. I'm not the mixed media master. <laughs> I'm just here having fun. But if I can show you something that I know anybody can do, then I want to show it to you because I think it's important that you find inspiration in lots of places. Maybe looking at this background, you think, I don't wanna do art journaling, but maybe I'll give this a try on a scrapbook page, or maybe I'll give this a try on a card. And you don't have to use these pigment paints. You could try some Distress Oxides or some regular watercolors or just some crayons or colored pencils. They work very similarly. It's just getting pigment down on the page, playing with shapes, playing with things you have in your stash already, like these word phrase strips from Tim Holtz that I've had in my stash for ages. <laughs> and I'm just putting some sentiments down. I've glued in some little gold glitter hearts that I keep in my desk all of the time. I am gluing down these sentiments, by the way, because I find on this thick mixed media paper, it is watercolor paper, by the way, it's really thick, it's really nice. And uh, when I'm gluing it down, when I'm taping it, things down, it doesn't stick very well unless you use glue. So that's a little tip for you. And uh, yeah, just gluing things on, having a good time. Now, once I get all of these little word phrase strips glued on, I'm gonna add one more little detail just to make it fun, feel finished. You know I like my scattering and splattering. I've scattered my little stars and I've splattered with the paint. So now I'm gonna bring in my little Gold Nouveau drops and add little tiny trails behind the stars as though they were shooting through the sky just because I thought that sounded really fun. And it's like, look, came out really cute. I like it a lot, but it's a nice little detail. It's just something that makes it feel a little bit more special. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you'd like to see more of these beginner art journaling pages, or if you'd like to see me bring a little bit of mixed media into my scrapbooking, just a little though, <laughs> until next time. Bye guys.